Happy National Orchid Day, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful special day for every orchid lover. National Orchid Day, well, depends which country. There's not really a specific country. It could be called International Orchid Day. But because it is a very, let's say, recent holiday that has been initiated by Mr. and Mrs. Young in 2010, it may not be commonly known. I don't, let's say, celebrate National Orchid Holiday as such, but it is a special day because it resonates with me, not just because of the orchids. So if you're not aware of National Orchid Day and how it came about, I'm going to read from the holidayscalendar.com and I'll leave the article in the description below. While you have a look at my blooming alley, and I hope that that will be okay. Afterwards, I want to go and show you some other things. But this day resonates with me, not just because I love, I live, I eat, sleep, drink, work, orchids, grow them as well. But this couple, Mike and Faith Young, they volunteered at an orchid reserve in San Cristobal de las Casas in Chiapas, Mexico. And working there was an experience that profoundly touched them, so much so that they named their daughter Orchid Faith. And this is where this day resonates with me as well. Unfortunately, their daughter passed away on April 16th in 2014. And it was after that that the National Orchid Day was founded as a way to honor her life. They imagined it as a day where their daughter would feel the warmth of all of the people who thought of orchids on that day. Later, the Youngs would name a new species of orchids, a species known as Radiant Faith. If you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you. Maybe this is the video that when you put in the hashtag National Orchid Day, that brings you to my channel. And I want to say, a very warm welcome and thank you for being here. I have grown orchids since I was a child in Kenya. I didn't know much about them at the time. I just loved the fact that they could be slapped on a tree and they gave beautiful blooms and they just grew. So my life has always been about orchids. My life has changed many, many times. So the majority of what you see in my blooming alley now is my third collection. And I've been through the epiphytic form of growing, the pot growing clay and bark, because in Spain we'd never really got leca at the time. But then when we got leca that didn't float, <laughs> I switched everything with this third collection to leca and self watering. I was not going to grow orchids again because they take a lot of time, a lot of care. They're called babies for a reason. They're called kids for a reason. It's all very charming. But in my case, I started collecting orchids because it was the first bloom I had in a dream after my son passed away. I had, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go ahead because I've tried to tape this quite a few times now. So I'm just going to plow ahead. I had a very, very, clearly still have a very difficult time with the fact that he's not here with me. But when I eventually did get some sleep and didn't have a horrible dream to wake up from, I woke up and remembered that I saw an orchid bloom. I didn't consider it a sign. It wasn't like a sign, but it astounded me to such a degree that I thought, I remembered how much joy orchids brought to my life. A lot of frustration as well, but mainly joy. I have tried to film this today. I don't know how many takes, but that is what I wanted to bring to the story of Mr. and Mrs. Young who lost their daughter. 
that they started National Orchid Day in memory of her. And even though I didn't do something as large as that for my son, the bottom left of the screen, you will see a very pink bloom, and that is Cattleya Maxima. And she was my first orchid that I had to have because his name is Maximilian. I'm sorry if this is triggering to anybody, but I thought how National Orchid Day came about was so sweet and so kind. And Mr. and Mrs. Young have in the article the one kind of wish that they would like the message to get out there, to use the hashtag National Orchid Day. And again, they called it National Orchid Day, but it's not to a country specific. It's to honor their daughter and the love of orchids that they have. And they also suggest in the article that if you don't grow orchids, maybe you would be interested to try one. Go to the garden center or your supermarket or big box store and get an orchid and start and discover the beauty of these magnificent, magnificent plants. I have to say that I'm really sorry once again if this triggers anybody. I wanted to do this video, but I didn't want to get emotional. But when you're dealing with something in nature that is so profound and beautiful and as old as time itself, I consider it an honor to be able to grow orchids and share orchids. It's a privilege. It's a blessing. I call them creatures because that's what they are. They are survivors through everything that the world has gone through. The orchids have survived. Dinosaurs haven't, but the orchids have. And they are my therapy. I'm in Zen mode when I work with them. I'm amongst them, and I just potty around. And it wouldn't be exaggerated to say they are my world. So happy National Orchid Day, everybody. And thank you if you've made it this far. I want to show you what's going on around the patio as well, just to give you a little update on the situation since we've had last had a look around. Thank you for listening up to this point. I really, really appreciate it. You have no idea how much. And there he is, Catlia Maxima. This is here because of my son. They're all here because of my son. And I'm here because of these guys or girls, depending on how you want to call them. So let's have a look, see, around the patio, because it's been raining. These guys, my summer bloomers, are out. I want them to get some drizzle. I want them to recover from some of the abuse with regards to the lecca, the sphagnum moss, and my not getting the pH right. So I'm hoping that they get a good drenching. I'm not concerned about crown rot or anything like that. There's enough of a breeze going around. There shouldn't be a problem. My silver bush. Just the last flush of flowers there. And my little African corner, so to speak, Madagascar corner. I've got my agraecums here. They're, they're loving it. This is, this is them. The roots are saturated, dark green. The rain is not hard. There's a constant drizzle. They're, this is their element, and I'm loving every minute of it for them. And my Plectromynthus caudatus is looking okay, still hanging on, trying to get some roots to extend and not die off. My Garen Weaver is a sad story. I still have to wrap my head around it as to what's going on there. And the Blatia and Kimmy here, 
living their best life in the breeze, lots of lots of rain. Let's go to the east side. This is what it looks like at the moment. The ones that I really want to have rained on, they're out. I have the other ones still very protected over here. New growths are coming and I don't want to rot those off, especially because those growths on the cattleyas are sometimes really, really tight. So I don't know how long the rain will last. And I want to protect them a little bit. There's enough humidity around for them. But all the other ones with the dendrobiums that have been through a sort of winter rest, depending on how you want to call it, with Lekka and self-watering. And then some more vandacious orchids enjoying the rain, which is coming down pretty hard right now. So the Vandas are living their life. I'm trying to get the roots to recover. Video coming on about that for Elaine Riley. And Matthias has opened. Well, starting to open. But yeah, you can see it's raining really, really hard. So I'm going to back off and go back under cover. And despite the dark day, look at the beauty of my tortilla here. Oh my goodness, the lacy beauty of those blooms. I just love this. I love this hobby. I just have sometimes no words except for babbling about this hobby. I can geek out about this for hours, but I won't bore you with all of that. But I want to say thank you so very, very much for watching if you've made it this far and weren't turned off by the start. From Catlia Maxima and myself, have yourselves a happy National Orchid Day. Thank you so very, very much for watching, for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. Bye.